Demand for STEM professionals and associated professionals is expected to grow by around 8% between now and 2025. This means that Europe needs more young people to pursue STEM subjects and careers, to become part of a much needed, qualified workforce in the coming years. We need motivated, properly trained, well-equipped STEM teachers to prepare and inspire Europe's next generation of researchers and industry professionals. The STEM Alliance tackles those fundamental societal challenges through the support of industry partners and ministries of education across Europe. Building upon the work of the Ingenious Platform, STEM Alliance animates a community of companies and educational authorities to motivate as many young people as possible to pursue STEM subjects and careers. That there has been a reduction in the number of uh, students in particular studying STEM subjects over the last 15, probably even 20 years. It's something that we are very keen to help address and redress that. Since its launch, STEM Alliance has reached more than 10,000 pupils and hundreds of teachers, as well as companies from all over Europe, through a variety of activities that bring industry and education closer together around three main axes of activities scaling up through knowledge building and collaboration, supporting teachers in industry, and communication and outreach. The STEM Alliance is a really important development um, as we look at the whole um, skills agenda for the 21st century, because really it's about lots of new jobs and therefore some new skills. The STEM Alliance conducts research-based activity and provides extensive, evidence-based analysis on strategic STEM education issues. The STEM Alliance Knowledge Observatory of STEM Trends in Education provides new insights on various topics, including the impact of the use of ICT in STEM education, now available on the STEM Alliance portal. The STEM Alliance works as an umbrella initiative to promote and help develop practices initiated by industry to close the gap within the education sector. For example, the Teacher Discovery Placement Scheme encourages the placement of teachers in companies to have a contact with the world of industry. Another example is the STEM Professionals Go Back to Schools, where industry professionals visit schools to talk about their jobs and the skills needed in their companies for the future. With STEM teaching resources, webinars, online discussions, chats with STEM professionals and face-to-face -face workshops, STEM Alliance reimagined the way schools approach science, technology, engineering and maths. So we actually uh, spend a lot of attention in promoting STEM education. We work together with uh, teachers and students uh, all over Europe uh, trying to promote uh, STEM subjects. And obviously we hope that at some stage these students may perhaps become colleagues of ours at Shell. Each year, Europe-wide campaigns are organised to engage STEM teachers, career counsellors and professionals of the various STEM career paths existing in the industry. These activities reach their peak during STEM Discovery Week in the spring, during which schools and companies across Europe are encouraged to work closer together to improve STEM education for young people. Today, STEM Alliance continues to inspire and drive innovation inside and outside the classroom. I think STEM Alliance is really important because there's like a big uh, gap between industry and education. So to narrow that gap, I think STEM Alliance is a perfect example to do that because it brings all the actors together and uh, students and teachers can benefit uh, of all those uh, things, projects, material, uh, experience, uh, stories and all those information.